That's yeah. fine. Chris so, is just setting up the stream anyway. Yeah. I'll, I'm not emailing you for like 10 minutes. Okay. I'll be fine. Then. Hey, and I think we're live. Thomas. Hooray! We did it. We did it. All right. Welcome to another stream. All of our fun, fun, friendly family people. I don't know what that was. Hey, you dorks. That was rude. Oh. <laughs> I felt bad Aww. immediately after saying it. We're sorry. <laughs> oh, it's me and Tom. And we're, yeah. we're going to play some more magic. We're going to nail this to the war, to the world, to the world, nail to the world. So let's, uh, I, I didn't catch when they did like the constructed event for exploration. No, I didn't either. All right. But are you, as you can see right here, we have the rules here. You play yep. two lands. Starting hand is nine. No maximum hand. So we can just go buck wild on this. Are you using your coins or your gems? I'm using gems, my dude. Whoa. Oh, yeah. All right, so now see this this cursor, Tom? Don't do this again. <laughs> Chris, you can't. I'm just kidding. We're going to we're going to do this legit. Okay. Hey, while while we're looking at these first cards, Tom, you want to give us a little uh little uh little uh, tweeteroo? Let everybody yep. know that we're out here doing this thing. Sure, I'm on it. Awesome. So, I'm going to just look through these things. That doesn't seem good. Hmm. Hmm. Come on. The train. Come on and ride. Okay. There's that. Hmm. Tweeted. Sweet. Yep. So I'm looking at these our, our choices for this first pack. Yep. Um, and since we can we can uh, play two lands a turn, I really feel like we should take the swamp. <laughs> you know, I think I, I I see a problem there in that we don't need to take the swamp. Um, but in seriousness, I like Blanchwood armor. I like Departed Deckhand. Uh, I like the Valiant Knight. You were thinking Valiant Knight? I see. I was thinking Gallant Cavalry. I guess Valiant Knight is pretty good because it's a it's a big knight and it's a, a lord also. Yeah, I mean, it gives us a reason to take other knights. Mm -hmm. So I'd I'd think if we wanted to be in white, then we want Valiant Knight. Otherwise, uh, I'd be looking at probably Departed Deckhand okay. because that guy is. I think that's really useful, yeah. just to be able to give people unblockable effectively. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. So it does have the uh, sacrifice it if it's at the target of a spell, yeah. which is rough. Rough. I'm I'm good with rare drafting. Let's rare draft. Take the valiant knight. Boom. Hey, mill time. No. No. <laughs> um, I I already like the star crowned stag. That's why I, I that was, 
I was thinking the same thing. That yeah. guy is just a house. Yeah. As we as we've seen uh in past streams. Yeah. In past episodes of this. And just from playing this set at all, the Star Crown Stag is just he's a very good boy. Yeah, I think we'll do that. Okay. Gallant cavalry, I think. Yeah. Just because it 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 triggers with our Valiant Knight, yeah. That's it's pretty more good. knights. Yeah. Just kind of taking a quick look. Yeah, I, uh, I mean, other than that, I think that the Druid of the Cow is probably the second best card in that pack. Yeah. Okay, so looking here, what do we have? Um, hmm. So there's no white for us. Right. So that means we're looking at uh, basically a second color, potentially. Yeah. So the question is, do we want to... What, what kind of archetype do we want to move into? Mm-hmm. And do we want to take some fixing and maybe have the ability to make our mana base a little bit stronger, or do we want to take just a good card? Yeah, um, I'm not. I'm not ready to commit to Stone Quarry. Mm-hmm. I don't. I mean, just because we we've only taken white so far. Right. Um, I was looking at Oak in Form. Seems good. Naturalize. I mean, just be removal. I also yeah. kind of looked at Abnormal Endurance. Mm-hmm. Because that seems like that would be a good way to kind of save a knight. So, I think the things that I'd be looking at here, Uh and obviously feel free to disagree with me, I'd be looking at uh, Epicure of Blood, because I think that the white-black archetype with life gain, that's a central piece of it. Okay. For gaining or losing life, I think that's really just a good card to have. Okay. Um. If we wanted to move into red, that mm-hmm. wouldn't be too bad to have a gutter snipe. Sure. Uh, Colossal Majesty, especially since we're doing exploration. I know that right now I don't think we have any like four powered boys. Yeah. But that's a way to just generate some card advantage if we wanted to start moving into green and just picking up some bigger folks. Yeah. Um, especially since if we're playing white green, we're going to be getting a lot of enchantment stuff anyway, mm-hmm. which would be making those bigger boys. So then hmm. th- okay. that's maybe worth considering. Yeah. Um, abnormal endurance. I can see being a useful thing just because it is like effectively a removal spell yeah. when you use it. Um, yeah. I mean, I'm good with the f- most of these cards, actually. I yeah, don't think was... we'd look at Naturalize or Plummet just because those are sideboards. I don't think we look at Tormenting Voice. Um, mm-hmm. Infectious Horror is probably out as well. Um, internal or Infernal Scarring, I don't think is what we want to be doing. Yeah. And we don't have any artifacts, and I don't like Scholar of Stars that okay. much. Well, I tell you what, I'll let you choose between Colossal Majesty and Epicure of Blood. Okay. I'll narrow it down to those two. All right. Um, hmm. You know what? I think we want. I guess my question for you, Chris, is in exploration, how much are we wanting to like draft around the having no hand size sort of thing? Like what? I mean, I or, feel like that would. Or be you good. just want to draft a solid archetype? I mean, I think that any card draw is gonna is always good to give you more options. Okay. Especially with the fact that we don't have a card hand size, we if we can keep our hand size pretty full. That's All right, let's good. let's speculate and take a colossal majesty. I mean, nothing in this pack is incredible. I don't. Okay. Think. Um, oh no, there's star crown stag or a pegasus court. This yeah, is actually a pretty good pack. This is a really good pack. Uh, I was um, I was thinking the courser because just being able to give a dude flying is baller. Yeah, I mean. It's between one of those two. I mean, mm-hmm. I just, I do love the stone, the star crown stag. It's just oh, so yeah. good. I can understand wanting to make people fly as well. Yeah, they're both very good cards, and I, I have zero qualms about whatever you pick out of those two. We have a, I mean, we, I, I want to get more. I, I mean, we still have plenty of time, but I, I'd, I'd like to get the lower curve in there. So I think in the cur- courser. Yep. Oof. All right. So here, um, do we want to start trying to get some of the green grow your folks stuff? Uh-huh. In which case, I think we'd take oak and form, or because yeah. I don't, I don't really like 
not I don't like Mighty Leap. I've got no qualms with Mighty Leap. Right. But I, I think maybe if we're trying to just grow folks, mm-hmm. then that's what we want here. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And plus that would trigger our Colossal Majesty, so I like that. Yeah, it does. Okay. Ooh. Let's see. Huh. <sighs> So that's a decent mana sink. It's a pair of pants that'll get some of our guys big enough. Yeah. And if we're in white green, you know, we do want enchantments and auras. Mm-hmm, uh, mm-hmm. So that's not too bad. Uh, locks it on line breakers. Not the worst, but I don't think he's fantastic. Yeah. I'm, I'm not loving it. I mean, and... if he had some sort of like ability to go with his big old tusks then i would feel yeah. better about that if he had trample to actually break a line i'd believe this exactly but... all right um and what's what's the rate on titanic growth two for plus four plus four yeah. um i think i'd say we go talons of wildwood mm-hmm. I, kinda... i'm not entirely confident in that pick but i'm i'm happy enough with it yeah i feel good about that okay Ooh. Hmm. Weirdly, I think this might be Locks the Line Breaker after I we just spent a pack telling him how bad he was. <laughs> he came back. He didn't. He was. He didn't have enough. You don't like the uh, Ages of Heaven as like a kind of a as kind of a I, like. I don't know. I just don't react. think it does enough. Yeah. I, the plus one plus seven. Like the plus seven will save it from a direct damage, but. If, if we're like looking a, at like a hard removal, then it's it doesn't do just anything. a waste. Yeah. So I, I think it's that. Timbershire or Thornhide Wolves, not even a question. Really? They're that good? Uh, uh, compared to everything else in the pack that puts us into a different color, yeah. Sure, fair enough. All right, so um, I kind of like Goblin Motivator out of this pack. Can you explain why? Uh, Just because like it's just kind of like we've got a lot of big big bodies mm-hmm. and it it speeds them up and since there's nothing in our colors right now like i don't like Talarian scholar no the, he's boring my 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 next one would be duress yeah but i'm not a huge fan of duress in as like the main board it feels more sideboard to me Right. The only reason I was thinking duress, and this is just purely for me explaining why I was thinking about it, uh-huh. is because we're dealing with a you start with nine cards situation. That's true. So I was thinking that we'd have more stuff to hit. Okay. But the chances are we're probably not playing whatever we take here. Uh-huh. So I'm fine if you want to speculate on red a little bit more than being in black. Okay. Really, it comes down to what colors are you more of a fan of in yeah. this. Uh, and so I'm I'm not opposed to whatever you want to do. If you right. want to focus as on more of a creature strategy, I'm good with that. Yeah. Turn target. Hmm. That's not terrible. I think we probably just want plummet for the sideboard. You I'd so? rather have that. Now this is quick I mean, constructed. Yeah. I mean, that's the thing. If we get something with flying that we're dealing with, we don't have a ton of flying options here. Mm-hmm. I mean, we've got the Pegasus Courser, but that's just a hard removal for it. Yeah. So I'm not... I, I mean, it just gets rid of a thing that's objectively kind of a problem for us right okay. now. Okay. But I'm... I, again, feel free to tell me I'm wrong and go with whatever you want to no, do. No, that's fair. Um, do right. we go with another Oaken form? I think so. Okay. I mean, there's not that many artifacts that worry me in M19 to make naturalize like a yeah. main board thing. There's a situation where we main board Oaken form a couple of them. I am mm-hmm. <laughs> fog. I mean, I guess. Sure. <laughs> Sideboard it. Uh, um. Let's do Tectonic Rift. Sure. Maybe we speculate into land destruction. Hey, we got a forest. All right, so let's see here. Angel of the Dawn, I think, would be my pick here. But That is a I'm, good one. That's just, that's just very nice. I think that would be my choice. Um, I'm willing to hear any any objections or any other picks that you might have, though. 
Yeah, I, I actually don't even think I know what dismissive pyromancer does. Not that. Oh, it's not good. Red. I do not like it. You, oh. have, you 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 tap it to discard and draw. It's it's yeah, it rummages, which yeah. is uh. <laughs> yeah, it's not great. All right. Oh, another Pegasus feels real good. Or a Vine Mare. Oh, Jesus. Or a Druid of the Cow. We have three um, good op. Or Take Vengeance. Jesus. Jeez. Uh, God, this I, is a very good pack. This is a good pack. And I, I like want to take the Vine Mare. But it's our curve is already kind of high. I think. Right. So I and want... I mean, Take Vengeance is just hard removal, which I'm always a fan of taking. Yeah, I feel like that's um, pretty good. Oh, this is a tough one. Yeah. This is a good I think pack. we can Take Vengeance just because it is hard removal and we don't have any of that right, right. now. I agree. More Knights? More or knight? more, cr- or more, cr- more Stags. Right. We could go either way. Jesus. Um, <laughs> let's declare Dominance. Okay. Eh, I don't not loving that. I mean, the only reason that that's useful, I think, is you put it on something that's kind of garbage, and then you just sneak the rest of the squad True. in under it. But again, I'm not thrilled about that. I kind of think gallant cavalry might be the way to go. Yeah, but I, I, I don't, I'm not sure. I mean, that's I mean, that's two knights, and and if we get the boost in there, that's. That seems super that's, good. Yeah, that's a six power, basically. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Hmm. Okay, so what do we want here, do you think? Uh, I I do like Leon, Leon in Vanguard for a, a low cost drop. Um, hmm. Trusty Pack Beast doesn't feel great. We have no artifacts. Right, exactly. Uh, um, Bristling Boar would be my... I like Bristling Boar. Yeah. Like, I, I just think that guy's very good because he, the whole can't be blocked by more than one creature just means he gets in pretty frequently. Yeah. And if you stick the stick a trample on him, mm-hmm. he tends to get through. Ooh, just drew it to the cow, maybe? It's pretty good. Yeah, yeah, I think so. I mean, so. it's a low drop. It's It's got a decent enough butt with yep. the three toughness. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, what are we thinking here? I think this is another good uh, question. Do we want a Rustwing Falcon? I don't think so. I don't think that would be our first choice. I don't think Sun Cleanser really does anything. No. I mean, <laughs> I I'd, I, I'd I think I, it's between Inspired Charge, Dwarven Priest, and Bristling Boar. Yeah. And I, I'm happy to hear any thoughts on that. Because I kind of feel like we're... I, I don't know if we're going wide or going tall with our team. Mm-hmm. Whether we're just trying to build one one giant guy or if we're trying to be wider. And I kind of... I mean, having two of the gallant cavalry kind of feels like that's what we want to do. Yeah. In which case, Inspired Charge is nice. Yeah, I kind of... Uh, that's um, where I'm leaning. Okay. You good with that? Let's do that, I think. I okay. mean, sometimes that just sneaks us into a win, right? Ooh. Get some more wolves. Get some uh, swift claw. What are you thinking? Whew. Um, all right. I mean, here's my thing. I, I never really know how to feel about three ones. Yeah. I've, I've, I've never felt great when I've played them. Mm-hmm. Like, when they, when they work, it's great, right? Yeah. Because you get that early drop and you just beat down hard. <clears throat> I don't know. I, I ju- I'm just not sure if that's what we want to be doing. Mm-hmm. I think we probably do. We've got the Thornhide Wolves already. Mm-hmm. Um, if we slap any of the uh, power I... toughness boosts onto him, he's sudden that that's a good threat to have yeah. early. The only other so... thing is that I, I do like the fact that Rustwing is a one drop that has flying in it. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, it does give us some evasion. It allows us to, to get in there. Um, I mean, at the same time, if we go Oresco swift claw into either talons of wild wood or uh, the Pegasus courser, or something, that's true. Then we're looking good. Or even, uh, Oresco swift claw into Oaken form. Suddenly mm. we have a six, four on turn three. That seems pretty good. I'm good with it. All right. Mm. 
Okay. Um, I guess the question here mm -hmm. is, do we want another Talon of Wildwood, or do we want something that we can drop early just to throw in front of some stuff? I mean, the Wall of Vines having reach is pretty good. It's nice, yeah. It keeps him from pinging. I'm, I'm thinking that. Gives us a one drop. I'm, I'm kind of on board with it. I tr yeah, I, I, I'm happy with that choice. Here I'm okay with getting a, another Talons. Or even, okay. a, or even a Line Breaker. I don't know. Do yeah. we know? Can you check how many creatures we have? Is that an option? Uh, I can count. One, two, three, four... Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven. Okay. I think I'm good with the talons then. Okay. Just it's something we can have just continually sink mana into later. I'm gonna go with the welcome because I'd put it in the sideboard, but yeah, yeah, I'm good with that. Uh, another rust or the first rust Our wing. First rust wing. Yeah. If you really want to, yeah, I'm yeah. okay with it. Uh, do you want to take trumpet blast and potentially sideboard into red just mm. to make our guys a little better, or do you want trusty pack these? I mean, we don't really have enough red to justify a splash. I, right. I mean, unless if, if we, we see up like a land or something. Yeah, if we see a duel with red and white or red and green, then yeah. But I because I, I don't think trusty pack beast does enough for three mana. Yeah. No. Given that we have no red. Uh, I'm going to take Root Snare. Yep. Sideboard it. Yep. And Scarring and a Mountain. Damn it! <laughs> Why aren't we red? Damn it. <laughs> I think Not I actually... particularly good anyway. Yeah. I, well, I do have... I have... I think, I think I might have four of him for my Dragon deck. Okay, so here's the question. Do we want Take Vengeance or Luminous Bonds? Because I think those are just the best things here. I, I mean... I want Luminous Bonds, because, yeah, we already have a Take Vengeance. Yeah, and that's only tapped creatures, which kind of makes it a little bit worse. That one just... That's effectively hard removal. Ooh. That's nice. Uh, play. I mean, you can play two. Rabid Bite's good, because yeah. that's removal. Angel of the Dawn's another good one to have. I mean, I'm okay with any of those picks. I mean, one is just a seven-seven, which is big. Yeah, I, I'm. I'm feeling the. What is the one with the machine? It doesn't matter. It's not. I'm yeah, thinking rabbit by just because it's a lower drop and it does. It's remove. a low drop removal. Yeah. Okay. Rupture. It's not the sexy pick, but it's the pick. I, Elvish Rejuvenator. Yeah. Yeah, I kind I'm, of... I'm... I feel very conflicted about Elvish Rejuvenator. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, I don't love him. I mean, he does kind of ramp you, mm -hmm. but... Yeah. I mean, compared to the other stuff, it'd be... I would say I don't feel great about the Rocks. Uh, he Oracle. does draw you a card, which is nice. He replaces himself. But, but for yeah, five the mana? four two body is bad. Yeah, it's a bad body. Um, I, I don't know that we want. I mean, maybe we do want another Oresco Swift Claw, just because then it's more likely that we hit it and we mm -hmm. can. We have a low drop guaranteed. Yeah, if we weren't, if we weren't playing two mana a turn. Mm -hmm. I think I would be better. I would be more um, up for an Elvish Rejuvenator. Yeah, I think so too. But I think we want the Swift Claw. Yeah, and yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Dwarven Priest, eh? I mean, there's <laughs> not a whole lot else here for us. Right. Ugh. Um. <laughs> Oofa doofa. I know, this right? Is, there are some bad picks in here. <laughs> this has not been a great pack for us. No, I don't feel like there's. we need a second Inspired Charge. <sighs> I mean, annoyingly, I think it's between another Inspired Charge or another Rust Wing Falcon. Right. That, yeah, exactly. That's That's where I'm at. Okay. I think well, I'd rather um, have the body, personally. 
Okay, then I guess I'm fine with it. Let's take him. Cool, cool. Maybe Rustwing Falcon wheels anyway. Uh, do we just want Giant Spider? That's not bad. It reaches. Yeah. I was thinking that or the Sentinel. I'm I'm fine with the Sentinel. I know some people hate it because they're like, oh, it's just not enough of a return on two mana now. But it's like, a bear it's with good. vigilance. It's not I, bad. I know. That's that's exactly where I'm at. Like it's not bad, but I kinda think the giant spider's just better. Okay. Alright, there's another one. Uh I do like Highland game. It's two one and gives us two life. So is it Giant Spider or Mighty Leap or Highland Game? Cause personally I'd probably go another Giant Spider. Mm-hmm. Just give us that. Give us the reach, give us the protection. And yeah hope that that's good enough yeah i i feel you um i just feel like we're like heavy on the far end of our i mean at the same time it is just a four drop and yeah. we're playing potentially two mana a turn that's true okay you got me <laughs> oaken form or inspired charge i kind of think it's oaken form i think you're right um did we take a plummet before we no. took one yeah uh, it's probably going in the sideboard anyway unless we see a threat to see it uh do we want that second inspired charge for the sideboard or do we want a locks breaker uh, we'll, we'll... i think it's inspired charge yeah uh, rocks oracle gets in i yep. don't like him but we can Congrats. cut him okay smelt uh yeah, no whatever, <laughs> whatever. That's fine. Whatever. Take the inspired charge. Yep. <laughs> Three fogs. All fog. All the time. All fog. All day or day. All we do is fog, 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 no matter what. Okay, so... All three fogs to the sideboard, both plummets to the sideboard. <laughs> All right, and then... Root snare. Oh, yeah, sorry. It's all good. I mean, it's just that's an easy five cuts for us. Yep. Mm-hmm. Okay. I, so we... now it gets a little bit more difficult. I'm going to take one Inspired Charge out. I'd be fine if you wanted to take two out. I'm going to take just out the Oracle. Out. Okay. Uh, okay. Like that. Dwarven Priest out, maybe? Yeah. I mean, we're probably going to have... a. If we're doing it right, we should have a d- good number of bodies, but yeah, um, I feel like we can probably take one talent out just because of the fact that we should have lots of mana and we can pull it back from our graveyard. I mean, at the same time, do we want to because we could pull it back and put it on another creature? Mm-hmm. So it's a thing that we can be doing a lot. True. And maybe we take out one Rustwing Falcon and a Johnny's Welcome. Okay. Okay. So that gets us to 44. Just four more cuts. Uh, I'm good. I could, you know, we we gave him hope by putting him in our in our in our deck, but we I'm okay with taking out the line breaker. All right, let's let's cut him for now and we can come back maybe to See what him. it looks like. We could cut an oaken form. Yeah. We probably don't need all three of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, let's see. What else yeah, we got? That. Maybe. Do we want to cut Wall of Vines? I mean, we've got a bunch of people that reach now, and yeah. maybe zero three just doesn't do enough. Yeah, since we got the uh, the spiders in there now. Yeah, he's just kind of nothing. Okay. So we need one more. Like that. Hmm. I'm kind of feeling the talons are is my is my pick. Okay. I'm yeah. fine with that. Are you good with this mana base 10-7? I think so. I probably... Mm. Yep, yeah, no, I'm good with this. Okay. Look, look, we can see how it plays. If nothing else, maybe we bring back in the talons and go down an inspired charge. But other than that, I think we're fine. I don't know what to call this. I have no clever, uh, clever names for this one. Hmm. Um, 
geez, I don't know. That's a tough one, Chris. I can't see what the name is. It's behind an icon. I think we're going with it. Okay.